Ciao. Hello my Scorpio friends, this is just going to be a fast snapshot, end of July. So this is July, well let's take those, this is July uh, 23rd to Scorpios. Sorry about that, I'm back. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, a fast snapshot for the energy of the last week of July. This could resonate for you anywhere from now to the end of eclipse season because I'm doing the reading in eclipse season, okay? So also thank you for like sharing and subscribing. If you have not, I'd really appreciate you do so because it helps move the videos up in queue on YouTube search, okay? Um, which helps the channel grow, which I really appreciate. <clears throat> also, my Scorpio friends, Leave a comment down below if it resonates, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Let's shuffle this once more. All right. Ten of Pentacles, a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And we have the Divine stepping in to change your trajectory so that you can have this Ten of Pentacles energy. Hmm? Perhaps you've met someone new very, very recently, bringing, being brought in by this There's been a hard ending of something that really you feel stabbed in the back over. Something you ended profusely and right quick. Perhaps it brought you a lot of mental clarity and happiness to do so. Perhaps it brought you the new. You have my Scorpio friends. Something that's been carrying you for the long term. We have new contracts here. You have everything in the palm of your hand to sign that contract. The divine's trying to level you up. You could be deal with Taurus energy. There is going to be a celebration or going out and having fun with your friends after feeling left out in the cold in a scenario. <clears throat> Cutting out the BS. Yep, trying to bring happiness. There's a big old happy outcome coming here. After you take a leap of faith, but you're fighting it, not sure what to do. Okay. Ego, false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So this is all about stepping into your heart space and the divine bringing the wheel of fortune in, wheel of karma and destiny to to make sure that that happens for you it's about speaking a truth but doing it fairly and justly this king of swords is a cutting out the bs king but man he does his homework first he's not no, no dummy no nope. the divine's given this person you a big old cup to fill with whatever you choose to fill it with however you choose to move forward i think this is soulmate energy coming in here for you my scorpio friends Then we have, you've been busy working on building your stability. The divine's bringing justice here to you. Could be in the form of a Libra, an Aquarius, or Gemini. Unable and willing to make a decision. You're doing your homework. You're sitting there. You're watching things. People think that you're just sitting there meditating or something. You're in your own little world, but you're watching things go on. You're figuring out how it all is going to come to fruition. Someone's been in and out of your life bringing messages back and forth that have caused confusion. But this one message that they're going to bring in the next little while is going to help you create something beautiful that's going to bring an inflow of abundance. Yeah, but you're still concerned about nefarious nonsense, lying, cheating, stealing. I think maybe you might think it's time to get out while the getting's good, even in this scenario. But it could be an ego-type-based thought, so be careful of that. And we have a temporary pause in action that could really freak you out because you might think something's over when it's not, when in actuality a very happy outcome is going to ensue. Let's see what ties them together. 
We have release, the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, time to move forward, time to move on. So, yep, that's a definite hard ending. Definite hard ending for somebody. Releasing isn't always easy, but sometimes it is easy because you're just so over all the grief and the frustration of it all. So here's your card. I got a few cards here. So we have Pot Luck. This is the Kitchen Tarot, which is all about... Oh, let me just pull that card up. The writing's very small. Trust. Tolerant. Peace Porridge. <laughs> Fall, hope, it's about bringing justice, it's about doing the work, hope and fate, it's about destiny. It's about the divine stepping in to bring divine justice to your life. It's destiny that this happened. Whatever's going on is a side of destiny for you guys right now, my friends. That's an interesting card. I'm going to have to spend some time with that card. Then we have the silverware drawer. So don't slam the silverware drawer. Shy pie. <laughs> It's called, this is the judgment card, the divine stepping in to change your trajectory. And the next card out we have is take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation. You need to trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. We have the nine of cups. There's a wish granted coming your way. This very happy outcome. Healing coming. King of Pentacles, very grounded, very nurturing. Seven of Pentacles, there's that brief pause. Perhaps you're taking a brief pause to consider what comes next because you're all up in your head with sleepless nights. What comes next over contractual agreements? The love that you feel towards someone. Five of Swords conflicted and the Ten of Pentacles, out and out abundance coming your way. Times two. That's beautiful. I hope it resonates. Let me know down below, guys. I'll talk to you later. Blessings.